First, I want to start off giving all praise to Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Gama Lock Yahweh Shah. And here's another edification video. Uh, this is going to try to touch on multiple things. Uh, um, I want to touch on Christmas and birthdays and the things that these people of the world think that are of God. And God tells you not to do these things, uh, which is another reason why God doesn't have a birthday. Why they can't find out when God started, when God was born. And you can't find out when Yahweh Shah was born either. You can't find out the Christ was born or you can't find out the Creator because they didn't have birthdays. And if the Creator doesn't have a birthday, you shouldn't have a birthday, okay? Um, like I said in the last video, people got to question these things that they do for just no reason, and they do it. And okay, you got to to come into this truth, you got to delete everything that you heard before, man. Everything in this world has taken you away from the truth. You got to come in as a new Brand new person, man. Um, newborn babes, uh, as the Most High says. Um, we're going to start off on the first Peter 2, two and uh, 1. All right? You got to come into this truth as a, a newborn, man. You got to take away all the things that you think you know, all the knowledge of this world, all the things that you don't fill your head with and you're worrying about. You got to take that out, man. You got to come as a newborn baby. If I tell a newborn ba baby, uh, um... Uh, the sky, the sky is green. He gonna believe me, okay? Until you go out and see it's not green, he gonna believe me because he's a baby, and that's what they do. You want to take in the new information and delete everything of this world because it's gonna co constantly contradict with the scriptures. Because the things of this world, um, the Most High doesn't deal with. All right. So we gonna go to uh, First Peter, um, First Peter two and one. All right. I'm going to explain to you how you got to come to this information, man. All right? All right? Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and all hypocrisies and all envies and evil speakings, as newborn babes desire the, the, the sincere milk of the word, that ye may grow thereby. Okay? So you got to be as a newborn baby coming to this information, man. When I was in the world, when I first heard this, I was confounded, man. Because I had all thinking, I was thinking about the worldly things and how it didn't add up. But what we're taught in the world is, is taking us away from the most high, man. Y'all got to figure that out. All right. If so be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, to whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed the deed of man, but chosen of God, and precious, okay? You gotta put you gotta put away all that knowledge, man. You you gotta put away all your you know went to college, you got a PhD, uh you don't went to school, you think you know a little something, man. You don't know nothing into the the uh to the most high. Alright? The um you gotta uh come as a newborn babe. Alright. All right, hold on one second, Israel. One second, my bad. All right, go to First Corinthians three nineteen. All right, you gotta go. Um, you gotta delete everything you've heard of in this world, man. Because you're going to see uh, a lot of contradictions, man. And everything uh, you think you know, man, you don't know, man. This is the book of wisdom, all right? We're going to see what the most hot thinks about uh, this world and their wisdom. And the people who got PhDs and the people who think they know something, these doctors, when all they really use is witchcraft, which I don't even know about. A lot of people don't know about. The, these doctors, they give you pills um, to uh, birth control. That's witchcraft, man. Y'all don't know about that, man. That's literally witchcraft, okay? The knowledge that they, they get is evil, all right? They don't get that knowledge from the Most High, man, all right? We're going to start at 1 Corinthians 3 and 19. And I'm going to just show you that the wisdom of this world means nothing to God. All the knowledge you think you got, you got to get rid of it and come to this truth as a newborn baby. You got to delete all that. 
all that worldly thinking, all your your heart feelings, okay? For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness, okay? And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. Okay, so the thoughts of the wise people in this world, they are vain, man. They aren't of God, okay? And he's saying the wisdom of this world is foolishness with him, man. He doesn't even care about, y'all Y'all think y'all got something figured out that, you know, the America's doing something big and they're going to, they're the smartest, most innovative people. It, all that is, is foolishness to the most high, man. All right. Therefore, let no man glory in men for all things are yours. Okay. You can't glory in, in men, man. You can't glory in learning this, your knowledge from men. All right. Because that's where a lot of people get it from, man. You got your textbooks in school. Men wrote those books, man. Okay. And then they'll be like, men wrote this Bible, but all the men that wrote this Bible were under the Holy Spirit, man. And, this, and this, I'm going to show you that in the scriptures, all right? All right? All right? Prove that to y'all too, man. Cause a lot of people be like, "Well, the white man wrote that Bible. Uh, you can't just go off that." A second, uh, hold on, Ezra. Second Israel. Mm. Oh, I'm trying to find a scripture for it, man. Oh my God, I'm just like, man, what the fuck? Okay, um, this is Ephesians 3 and um, uh, 5, all right? Ephesians 3 and 5. For people say this book was written by the white man. Sorry it took that long, man, but I had to get this scripture for you, all right? Ephesians 3 and 5. Ephesians 3 and 5. Um, which in other ages was not made known to the sons of men, as it was now revealed unto the holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. Okay? So these scriptures were revealed unto holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. Okay? So the people who think this was um written by man, um, you, you don't you don't know what you're speaking of, man. Okay? You have to know the you, you have to know the scriptures, man. All right, so now we're gonna get into Christmas. Now that y'all come as new more newborn babes and new people, um, I hope I hope the uh, Lord put the Spirit on you for you to come today. We're gonna get into Christmas, all right. And I'm gonna give you a little breakdown of where Christmas comes 
And then I'm going to bring scripture to back that, back that up. Oh, where Christmas comes from, okay? All right. Christmas comes from the Roman holiday Saturnalia, where the men would get drunk and have sex with each other, beat their wives, and give gifts and decorate trees. And it happened around December 25th, which is where Christmas came from. And it was outlawed by the Protestant church until the 1800s because people would get so crazy. They would go so crazy, man, and be so sinning so much, man, that the, the, even the church, uh, Protestant church uh, outlawed it, okay? Because people would get so crazy. So cele celebrating Christmas is not of, um, of God, and God hates it. Christ himself was born uh, in uh, spring, okay? In 440 A.D., they made Christmas um, December 25th with no prior churches ever celebrating uh, Christ's birthday, okay? Because they didn't do that back then, man. They didn't celebrate birthdays, and it's in the scriptures for you not to celebrate birthdays. And I'm going to pull it out after I go through Christmas, all right? Um, Palestine was very cold. And, uh, oh my bad, before I get it, before I get that, um, there were no prior churches ever celebrating Christ's birthday, and it was easy because people already celebrated Saturnalia, okay? And if you know anything else, um, Saturnalia has to do with the origination of Christmas, because everybody was already celebrating it, so it was easy for them just to put it on people, okay? And, um, it all, you're also celebrating somebody else, okay? And I'm gonna show you who is the person you're celebrating, uh, that's, that's um in the in the uh what is this in uh um you can find this all on the internet all right it also celebrates a Roman god named Mithras okay and some people um believe that Mithras is the Messiah so that which is not the Messiah which is the exact opposite of the Messiah so you uh you celebrating uh a dude the the devil pretty much okay you celebrating a Roman god. He's not a god, but that's what people address him as. But he's not, all right? There's only one god, okay? Who was born on December 25th, and some people believe he is Christ, and that uh, that is that he is the so-called Christ the Christianity religions follow. So people believe that is the Christ that the Christianity religions follow, okay? All right? Because he was born on December 25th, and they had his birthday, all right? So you know... That is just some BS, man. All right? And um, let me go ahead and get the scriptures for that. All right? Is that Jeremiah? Um, let me get the scriptures for it. Jeremiah. Jeremiah 10 and 3. All right? Jeremiah 10 and 3. Get the scripture to back it up, man. Jeremiah 10 and 3, all right? For the customs of the... Well, we'll start at 1, actually. Hear the Lord... Which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Once again, the Most High is only talking to Israel, okay? Um, Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and do not be dismayed at the signs of heaven. Um, when you hear all these uh, um, these things that people always um, talking about, the uh, uh, relating to your birthday, like Aquarius, and uh, all that is not of the Most High, man. Those stars are not even correct what they're giving you, man. They're just, they're just feeding hate and feeding things that aren't that are evil to you, man. Okay? Because this is what the most high said. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. All those things, all those uh those things lead up to stars, man. You can look it up. Gemini, all that stuff that that that, that leads to stars, okay? And and then are uh be not dismayed at the signs of the, of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. And the heathen are dismayed at them. Why do you think the white man, so-called white man, is always looking at the stars, okay? 
They love the stars. They, they study the stars. They think they're going to figure something out in the stars. All right? They say they landed on stars. They say they did all this. But, I mean, what, it's up to y'all what y'all think, man. I don't see that in the scriptures, you know. So, you know, I don't see no other planets in the scriptures either. So, who are y'all getting this knowledge from and who and who are you taking this from, man? Y'all believe everything y'all are told down to, the, to, down to everything, man. Do your own research, okay? Because the people that you're dealing with are the master deceivers, okay? They deceive you, all right? For the custom of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the works of the hands of the workmen with an axe. They cut the tree out of the forest. Okay, the Most High is going to break down Christmas, all right? What is he going to say about it? They deck it with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. We know what he's talking about, man. They 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 deck it with silver and gold, all right? And they fasten it with nails. You put the little green thing, whatever you call it, in a tree and you bang the nails in it so it moves not, all right? Now, what does the Most High say about that? They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born. It means they should have never started because they never meant anything to the Most High. It never would have never is never dealt with the Most High since the very beginning. All right, all right. Uh, because they cannot go, be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither also is it in them to do good. Okay, so the Christmas tree is not doing evil and it's not doing good, which means you shouldn't be celebrating. Period. All right. Is let me go to the people who say, oh, that doesn't mean you can celebrate. Let me read the one before that one more time, so people don't. Don't don't take it uh, and run with it, all right? They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born. They 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 never should have been born. Okay, so that's gonna that's gonna kill all that man. They should have never been born. They should have never started celebrating Christmas because it never was in the Most High. Okay. All right. So that's the scripture on Christmas. Now we're gonna uh, prove to you even furthermore that the Most High um. Um, Christ, Yahweh Shah was not born on Christmas. He was born during the springtime. He was not born any any time near December. Okay, he was born in the springtime. If he wasn't born in the springtime, he was born in late, late. Um, I mean early fall. And I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, Palestine was very cold in December, and the shepherds were in the field, which they would have never been in December or winter at all. But Christ was most likely born in the springtime or early fall because shepherds were in the field from early March until early October. Christ lived for 33.5 years and died on Passover, which is at so-called Easter time, which Easter is a pagan holiday, which is trying to resemble the Passover, which is a, a holiday of the most hot. Well, not a holiday, but of a holy day. All right. I mean, that's what holiday means, where people don't even know that. Holiday literally means a holy day, okay? So when you got these people saying that all these things are holidays, they're trying to call them holy days. They got their own holidays. The white man has their own holidays, okay? And Christ lived for 33.5 years and died on Passover, which is that so-called Easter time. Therefore, they, therefore, he must have been born six months the other side of so-called Easter, making the date around September slash October time frame. Okay, so there's no way he could have been born if he died at that time. He he lived for 33.5 years. How could he have been born? How could he have been born in December? Okay, there's no way. And I'm trying to uh, prove it to you out the scriptures that the um the shepherds were in the field. All right, now go to Luke two and eight through twelve. I'm gonna prove it to you. So a lot of people are like, man, you just reading an article, man. That don't mean nothing. We're going to back it up with the scriptures, all right? Luke 2 and uh, 8 through 12, all right? And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping which over, keeping watch over their flocks by night. So they were keeping watch over their flocks at night, which would have never happened in Palestine. It's It's... Unbelievably cold in Palestine during December time. They would have never had their animals out watching their flock at night time if they were uh if it was December, okay? Alright, because it's too cold in Palestine. Y'all gotta know your history. You gotta back everything up with common sense and with the with the Bible. Alright? You can't just be backing things up 
with what people telling you. That's what people just do. They, they're born in this world, and our parents don't tell us the truth. Our grandparents don't tell us the truth. So you just believe everything that they're telling, and you just do them without even questioning, okay? But you got to learn to question, all right? And the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good thing, I mean good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Okay? So that's just debunking Christmas, man. That's that's debunking Christmas. There's no way you can say that the most high was born on December 25th because they didn't even celebrate birthdays. All right. And I'm going to prove to you that they didn't celebrate birthdays. All right. I'm going to prove to you that um, for the story of Job, he did celebrate birthdays. All right. We can go to Job 3 and 3. We're going to do 13 and 16 too. So Job 3 and 3. Start off with that. All right. Job. Trying to find my job. One second. Here's your... Oh, I'm trying to find my Job. Hold up. My bad, Israel. Oh, there we go. Job. Three and three. Alright, three and three. Alright. Well, actually, we're we'll gonna start with the third, the, the story first, okay? My bad. Job uh thirteen thirteen through sixteen, alright? Job 13, no, Job, my bad, Job 3 and 13 through 16, all right? Whoa, 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 hold up, one second. Job 13 and 16, my bad. Hold up, sorry, Job 13 and 16. All right. What the world? I can't be fair. This just can't be right. Okay, well, anyways, let's just go to Joe 3 and 1, all right? My bad, people. Joe 3 and 1, my bad. All right. Um. After this, Job out his mouth and cursed this day. Well, actually, my bad, my bad, my bad. We're going to read the story before we go to Job 3. The last time, all right? We're going to go to Job 1, and we're just going to start reading, okay? And this is the story of Job and how his his his, uh, his people were celebrating their birthday. And we're going to see what happened to him, all right? They said, the Lord, we're not going to do it. We're not going to deal off emotions, all right? Here was a man in the land of whose name was Job, and that man was perfect, okay, and upright. And one that feared God and eschewed evil. Okay, so a lot of people say you can't be perfect, but what does the most high say about Job? Okay. Uh and that man was perfect and upright and one that feared God. Okay. So people say you can't be perfect is the reason why they can't keep the commandments, but we're gonna move on, all right. And there were born unto him seven sons and three daughters. His substance also was seven thousand sheep. 3,000 camels, 500 yokes of oxen, 500 she-asses, and a very great household, so that this man was the greatest of all the men of the east. And his sons went and feasted in their houses every one his day. So that every one his day means they were feasting every time their, their birthday came around, all right? We're going to prove it, too, all right? And, uh... And his sons went and feasted in their houses every one his day, and sent and called for their three sisters to eat and drink with them. And it was so. So when the days of their feasting were gone about, 
that Job sent and sanctified them and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, it may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus did Job continually. So he was making burnt offerings because they sinned. How was celebrating your birthday a sin? Because you're idolizing yourself, okay? Y'all don't understand that, man. Job is literally saying it's a sin. That's why he was doing the burnt offering, all right? Now there was a day, okay, when the sons uh, of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them, all right? When the Lord said unto Satan, whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord. See, a lot of people say that uh, Satan is going against God. Listen, he's, God is talk, talking to him right now, all right? And then in the... Uh, he said, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. So Satan was going to and fro in the earth and walking up and down in it. All right? Everywhere you can go. He's just trying to get you. Christmas, birthdays, uh, any anything he can do to get you to go against God, he's going to get you. All right? So we're going to go down to uh, 19. All right? 1 and 19. And behold, there came. Uh oh, my bad. We're not going to go to 19, all right? Oh, my bad. One second, one second. Um, all right, yeah, 19. So we're going to see what happened to these people who were uh, celebrating their birthdays. That said, the Lord, all right? And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness and smote their four corners of the house, and they fell upon the young men, and they are dead. And I only am, I, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. Then Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshipped. And said, Naked came I out of the, my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And in all this, Job not sinned, nor charged God foolishly. Okay? So, he, he didn't sin, or he didn't, he didn't say nothing against God after God killed his whole family for celebrating their birthday. It was a test from the Most High to see what he changed on about this family died. And he did because you're not supposed to celebrate your birthday. This is how serious celebrating your birthday is to the most high. All right. Let me read that again. And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness and smote all the four corners of the house and it fell upon the young man and they are dead. And I only escaped to tell thee. All right. But Job didn't, he didn't make a big deal out of it. He, I mean, he knew that the most high did it and punished them for their sins. Cause the ways of sin is death. All right. I'm going to go down to 22. And all this Job sinned not, nor charged God foolishly, man. Even though they killed his whole family, man, he didn't sin and he didn't charge God foolishly, all right? Now we're going to go to Job 3 and 1 through 4, all right? And see what Job said after, the, after that, what he says about his birthday, all right? After this opened Job his mouth and cursed his day. He cursed his day. So there's letting you know it was the birthday that this letting you know it was the birthday he was talking about. Just like we can go back and show you that it was the birthday he was talking about. Because everyone was uh on one and uh four, and the sons went and feasted in their houses, everyone his day. So that's the birthday that he's talking about. Alright, now let's see what he says on three and one through four. Alright. After this opened Job his mouth and cursed his day. And Job spake and said, let the day perish wherein I was born. He said, let the day perish wherein I was born, all right? And the night in which he was said, there is a man child conceived. Let that day be darkness. Let not, not God re regard it from above. Neither let light shine upon it, okay? Let darkness in the shadows of death stain it. Because when you're born, it's the beginning of sin in this world, man. All right? You're not supposed to remember that day. You're not supposed to celebrate that day. You're idolizing yourself, okay? And stain it. Let a cloud dwell upon it. Let the blackness of the day terrify it. 
And as for that night, let darkness seize upon it. Let it not be joined into the days of the year. Let it not come in the number of the months. So you're not supposed to be thinking about your birthday. You're not supposed to be having it in your calendar, saving the day. Oh, my birthday is coming up. I can't wait on my birthday. Finna get presents. Finna go sinning. Finna go turn up. Go to the man. That's against the Most High, man. And He's telling you that. So you can choose to do what you want to do, man, or you can choose to follow God. You can choose to go to the preacher and let him tell you that oh, you can keep celebrating your birthdays. You can keep celebrating Christmas. But I don't told you the history of these things, man. All right? And I got some other holidays I want to break down to y'all. All right? And where they come from. All right? is common knowledge y'all like y'all can all look this up all right the uh easter easter was named for a saxon goddess e Ostre, okay the easter bunny and eggs are german pagan myths didn't i tell you those are pagan myths easter where, where is it in the scripture of the most high playing with kids and looking for eggs and hiding eggs and the kids busting the eggs open and eating them whole and money coming out of the eggs man that's that y'all what are you doing man you're doing things for you celebrating it each year is the act of worshiping that day okay because if y'all you, you're celebrating it every year okay so you're worshiping that day pretty much all right you're saying that's a holy day of the lord all right, that's what a holiday means a holy day. Okay, oh, so that's where Easter come from, and then we got Valentine's Day too. All right, Valentine's Day was originally called Lupercalia and was a day when each person put the wrong, put their uh name into a drawing, they put their name into a drawing, and the person who draw that name became that person's sexual partner for the day. St. Valentine was invented in order to give a Christian meaning to the holiday. So you think that is, that's of God? Some people getting together and drawing a name and you having sex with that person for the day? Come on, man. Y'all got to wake up, man. Y'all got to do your research and figure out why do y'all do these things constantly every year? You got to have a, a, a smart enough brain, a big enough awareness to see that. All right? The Most High should give you that. All right? But you got to be getting any scriptures to do that. All right? Now, um, I think we covered the holidays pretty good, all right? So I really wanted to um, get on, like, you know, the the people who aren't of God, man. Um, I got into it last time, but uh, a lot of these preachers and stuff, they're making you uh, do uh, tithes. They're making you give 10% of your money. It's nowhere in the scriptures, man. All right? Like I said in my last video, um, Matthew 10 and 8, we're going to see what God says about people that, what are you supposed to do, all right? Matthew 10 and 8. You're not supposed to do that, man. That's how you know they're not the real, they're doing it for dishonest gain, man. All right? Matthew 10 and 8. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, okay? Cast out devils. Freely you have received, freely give. So if you receive this word freely, Okay, you're supposed to give the word freely. The Most High doesn't give you money with coming into this truth. All right, so all the people that are lying to you telling you 10%, where is the letter? Where is 10% in the Bible? All right, wake up, man. Wake up. You're paying for their churches, you're paying for their buildings, you're paying for their, their, their houses. Okay, I've seen uh, some on the internet, but uh, some dude asking for a thousand dollars for by each person in the um. The congregation. And they and they started fighting in there, man. In the middle of church. And he was saying, on my birthday, y'all can look this up. I'm not making it up, man. And he was saying, on my birthday, y'all gonna come do this. He, he was even, he's boasting himself, man. Talking about on his birthday, man. That's what I'm talking about, all right? Now, um, a lot of people, man, like I say, man, they don't agree with what we push up, what we do, man, because... People still can't get over the fact that everyone's not equal, all right? And everyone's not the same, all right? And I'm going to prove to you out the scriptures again. Uh, the Most High has a chosen people. Before I go to what I wanted to go to, go to Deuteronomy 7.6. I already did this last video, but 
you know, you get a lot of criti criticism from people, man. Um, for thou art unholy people unto the Lord thy God, and the Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all the people, all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right. So God has a chosen people and his chosen people is the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay. Now, when they go to second edges, six and 54, man, because people be like, oh, uh, well, why did God make us? All right. Why did God make the white man? All right. Why did he make Esau? Second edge is six and fifty-four. All right. And after e and after these, Adam also whom thou made is the word the Lord of all creatures. Okay, Adam was made the Lord of all creatures. He named all the creatures. He named everything. All right. And of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. So everybody comes from Adam, but God has a chosen people. All right. Like, same thing in Deuteronomy 7 and 6, all right? But everyone's equal, as y'all tell, the whole world tells us. And it's not true, all right? All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our state, our sakes, okay? Just like in John three sixteen, I mean, people try to say God so loved the world, he loves his world. And I explained that in the video before this. You can go check that out, all right? Um, the, the title is, uh, what is the title? Um... Um, John three sixteen breakdown, okay, and um, law keeping because people you got to keep the laws, but we're gonna keep reading them. And as for the other people which also come of Adam, everyone else that's not God's chosen people who also come of Adam, what is most the most I say about them? All right, thou hast said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle. They like spit to the Most High Man. They mean nothing. All right. All right. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. If you have a whole bucket of water and you lose a little bit of water, is you going to be worrying about that, man? No. You going to go all the way back to wherever you got the water and fill it back? No. You going to keep going because you lost just a little bit of water. All right. And now, O oh Lord, behold these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing. They've always been reputed as nothing. And you think they don't know that, man? They, that's why they control the world. That's why they do the things that they do, because they know this is their heaven, all right? They've always been reputed as nothing. They know they're heathen. The rulers of this world know they're heathen. That's why they're living it up, man, making billions of dollars off of us, man. All right? They've ever been, have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. They began to be lords over us and devour us, which is what they've been doing since we came over here, man. Since we came over here on the ship. It's, what they've been doing is lords over us and devouring us. We're killing each other. We're selling each other. Uh, Things are going to kill us in the long run. You know? It, we don't understand that our black, Mexican, and Native American brothers, they're our brothers. All right? They're our literal brothers. Just like you wouldn't do that to your brother, your, your blood brother. You shouldn't do that to That's your blood brother. Y'all have the same blood blowing, going through your veins from uh, Isaac, uh, from Isaac, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You have the same blood. That's your blood brother. All right? But we thy people whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover are given into their hands. We've been given into their hands, man. Because we were the firstborn. All right? If the world now be made for our sake, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? Okay, the whole world was made for our sakes. He was asking, why don't we possess the inheritance with the world? Okay, but we don't. Okay? He, and the Most High is going to come back and restore that. Okay? He was like, how long shall this, we, how long Shall this endure with me? How long is this going to go on, man, for the chosen people to be under these heathen people who refuse to keep the Most High's laws? And it's going to come a time, man, when the Most High comes back. But everybody thinks the Most High is coming back for everyone when he's not, okay? He's coming back for his people, all right? Now, I just had to get that out, man, because a lot of people, you know, they're trying to make... uh. Like I'm just trying to, uh, you know, 
spew hatred out into the world when I'm reading directly what the Most High says. Either you agree with the book or you don't. Is this is that serious? You know? But y'all gotta stop, you know, walking after your own things that you think is right and the own things you think is your own things that you think is the right way. When the most high tells you that your heart is deceitful above all, above all things, all right? Isaiah 65 and, and uh, 2. We're going to talk about that. All right? Y all, y all, you, you need to stop worshiping your version of God and worship the version of God that's in this book, all right? Isaiah 65 and 2. Isaiah 65 and 2. All right. I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people. Okay. He has spread out his hands to us all the day to a rebellious people. We were rebellious, which walk up in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. You y'all go after your own thoughts. Well, there's no way God doesn't love that gay person. There's no way God doesn't love Esau's uh, specific group of people. But I read you Romans 9:13, and he says, Jacob have I loved and Esau have I hated. And but oh, what that scripture is not true? What the Bible contradicts itself? See, y'all people are confounded, man, because it doesn't. All right, you just don't have the knowledge to be able to break these scriptures down and to know what the Most High means. All right, so. Like I said, man, uh, we will keep reading. A people that provoke me to anger continually to my face, that sacrificed in gardens and burned of incense upon altars of brick, all right, which remain among the graves and lodge in the monuments, which eat swine's flesh. Remember, I was talking the last video on me that people eat still eating pig. But the most I said for you not to, all right, and you're gonna get destroyed for that things. And broth abominable things in their vessels, man. You get you that blood that you eat in that pig is going through your vessels, man. It's going through that's the God says it's unclean to you, man. Why do you think our people passing out? Why do you think our people dying a heart attack? Why do you think y'all love pork and chitlins? The master used to y'all so-called master used to give y'all uh chitlins to make y'all unclean. Alright? That's why they used to give you pig in the worst part of it. Cause they used to hate y'all, man. With an everlasting hatred. All right? But, uh, the whole point of this, man, is for y'all to know who God is, man. My people. Israelites. If you're not an Israelite, man, then you're not going to understand this, period. All right? But y'all got to get out, man. We, I'm going to uh, show y'all a look. Y'all got to know the true God, man. Isaiah 1 and 3 while we in the chapter. I gotta know the true most high. But before we go to Isaiah 1 and 3, I'm gonna read Isaiah 45 and 17 one more time for people, saying that salvation is for everyone. It's not. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. That's the word that he's talking about in John 3:16, man. That's all God has ever dealt with was the Israelites. Alright? Now we're gonna go to Isaiah 1 and 3. Y'all think y'all know God, man, but y'all don't know God. Y'all don't know the truth. Y'all don't know the most high. All right? You don't know your Howard. Isaiah 1 and 3. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. So an ox is one of the dumbest animals alive. But they know who their owner is, all right? And the ass his master's crib. All right? But an uh, ass... Knows his master's crib, all right? He knows exactly where who his master is, okay? But Israel, you Israelites out there, you black, Mexican, and Native Americans, but Israel, okay, doth my but Israel doth not know. My people do have not consider. Y'all don't even not y'all don't even consider the most high. Y'all don't even open up your books to consider him, man. You just keep doing your son, your sin, asking for forgiveness, hoping that the Most High going to, you know, save you in the end somehow without you keeping these laws and having faith and having the works. You, 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 you're going, man. You you don't even know God, all right? You don't even consider that, said the Lord, all right? A sinful nation 
a people uh, laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers. Man, y'all like to kill each other. Y'all like to beef with each other. Y'all like to be in, in gangs. Y'all got to come out of that, man. It's destruction, man. Them gangs is not going to save you, man, when the Lord comes back. He's not going to save you when Yahweh shall come back. Your, your OG, he ain't going to save you when Yahweh shall come back. All right? He's not. All right? A seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel into an anger. Y'all make the most high so mad. He can't stand it, man. He, he, he's up to here with y'all, man. That's why he's finna come back. He's finna send his son to come back and execute benches on his world, man. You can get killed. Two-thirds of Israel is gonna die, okay? And for the other nations, you don't even stand a chance, all right? You're done. You better enjoy your life now, is all I got to say, all right? Provoke the Holy One of Israel in anger. They are going away backward. Why should ye be stricken anymore? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint, man. So the whole head is sick, man. Your people is sick. From the beginning, when you're born into this world, your people tell you BS. Oh, uh, don't have no one wife. Go out and just, you know, go out and just do whatever you want. Live life, man. Don't don't try to get, don't buckle down to it. What? That's not the most high, man. They tell you to love everybody. That's not the most high. They tell you that God loves everybody. That's not the most high. They tell you that white, and it's a white Jesus. That's not the most high. All right? Y'all got to see that you're being lied to, man. All right? He's fed up, man. He's fed up. He's fed up, man. Uh, one second, Israel. A second. One second, one second, Ezra. I got another scripture I want to get out. To show y'all, man, the, the most high is fed up, man. Um... Go to second edges. Um, one second. Second edges, chapter one and five, and we're gonna read. Second edges, chapter one. All right. Just show you, man. The Most High is fed up, man. He's he's coming back, man. He's done. He, he's not playing with y'all no more. He's, he's, he's going to get his son to come back. You know? Go thy way and show my people their sinful deeds. That's what I'm doing, man. The Most High took me out of my sin to tell my people what they're doing, man. You're destroying yourself celebrating these holidays like Christmas. You're destroying yourself celebrating Christmas. You're destroying yourself celebrating these holidays that don't mean anything to the most high. You're destroying yourself not keeping these laws. You're destroying yourself, all right? Go thy way and show my people their sinful deeds and their children um, their wickedness, which they have done against me, that they may tell their children's children. So you got to know this truth to tell your children your children. How you going to want your child to get saved and go to heaven? Everyone got a child, but they don't want to love their child enough to tell them the commandments. You don't want to love your child enough to tell them the truth? All right? Because the sins of their fathers are increased in them, for they have forgotten me and have offered unto strange gods. You have forgotten the most high completely, man. All the things you believe in the white Jesus in the uh, Islam, you have forgotten the most high, man. You've for completely forgotten everything that he represented, man, and keeping the laws and, and loving him, man. By keeping the laws. Loving the most high is keeping the laws. All right? I don't understand that, man. And that's uh, what First John 2 and 5 to tell you that, man. 
to, uh, that tells you that loving loving of the Most High is keeping the laws. All right, I think I think that's right. But I'll, uh, I'll pull it up after this. Um, am not I even he that brought them out of uh the land of Egypt from the house of bondage? He brought you out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage, man. You the same people that Moses parted the Red Sea for, and y'all still just stuck in your phones, man. Oh, oh, oh. That stuff doesn't matter, man. You're gonna die to that, man. You're gonna it doesn't matter. They're using it to distract you, alright? From the house of bondage, but they have provoked me unto wrath and have despised my counsels. People despise me, man, telling me it's truth to God, man. They want everybody to get into heaven. They want God to love everybody. When they're telling these scriptures, man, that ain't right. What? The Bible ain't right? All right? They have despised my counsel. They tell people like me that I'm wrong. When I go straight out, the thus saith the Lord, man. Y'all preachers go out their own mouth. All right? They have provoked me unto wrath. The Lord is mad, man. He's fed up that these people doesn't know who they are. He's fed up that y'all think that y'all normal people walking this earth, that you're just like everyone else, that you like the Asian man and the white man. You're you're above all people that are upon this earth. Dece uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6, all right? In 2nd Ezra 6 and 54, I just read earlier, all right? Um, Pull thou off then the hair of the, thy head and cast all evil upon them. I got... You, you you make him pull his hair out of his head, man. He gonna cast all evil upon you, all right? Pull thy off then thy hair of thy head and cast all evil upon them. For they have not been obedient unto my law. <laughs> Y'all don't want to listen to the law. Y'all don't want to have the fringes. You don't want to not stop. You don't want to stop shaving your beard. You got to keep, you can't shave your beard, man. Y'all don't want to have to uh stop doing, stop doing your birthday, all right? Y'all don't want to have to stop um, celebrating Christmas, all right? Y'all don't. Y'all ain't obedient to the law. Y'all obedient to this this culture that y'all in, man. All right, all right. They have not been obedient unto my uh, my law, but it is a rebellious people. Y'all are rebellious, man. Y'all can't stand. It's been people in my own family. I've been reading to the Bible. They can't stand it, man. They can't stand me reading the Bible. But they'll let someone come blasting uh, loud music anytime and be like, and, and turn up to it. All right? It's because that demon in them can't stand it, man. They can't stand Why is you reading the Bible loud out here? Why is you reading the Bible, uh, uh, God's word loud? God says, cry loud, spare not, man. Show my people their sins. All right? That's why we're loud, man. Because the Most High is coming back. It's not a time to be silent with my head down. Well, God's just... Man, that doesn't work. that's not what the Most High wants me to do. I'm supposed to be proud, man. Not ashamed of this word. Not ashamed to show you your sins. All right? Okay. How long shall I forbear them until who I have done so much good? How long is he going to deal? How long is the Most High going to keep this going after all the good he done did for you? All right? How long is he going to keep... Uh, this life going, you waking up the next day. It's coming to an end, man. And he don't did you so much good. He took you out of Egypt, man. He put you, he put you, he put you in the right place, man. All right, we gonna see all the things that the Most High did for us, and we still don't listen. He finna break it down. All right. How long shall I forbear them until I have done so much good? Many kings have I destroyed for their sakes. Okay. Pharaoh with his servants and all his power have I smitten down. He, he, he took all of them down for you, you children of Israel, man. You black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, so-called. All right? But y'all have a name, man. Y'all are not uh, African-American, which is two white men, Af uh, American Vespucci and uh, um, Africanus, uh, the Roman uh, general. Okay, that's where Africa come from. You're not that. All right? You're not Mexican. That was given to you. Uh, you Mexicans out there. That was given to you by your um oppressors, man. You sp the Spaniards. They they're white men. That's all they ever were. Okay, they taught you Spanish. That's not a Mexican language. You're not. Your native language is Hebrew. All right. That's not. Y'all didn't make that up. All right. Mexican is is made by the white men. All right. Y'all have y'all actual lineage, and y'all are the children of God. Okay. All right. It's that simple, man. You're the same people that the uh, most high opened up the waters for, man, in Egypt. 
You have to notice that, man. Um, all the nations have I destroyed before them in the east. I have seated people of two provinces, even of Tyrus and Sidon, and have slain all their enemies. Okay, speak thou therefore unto them, saying, Thus saith the Lord, I led you through the sea. He led us through the sea, man. And we still don't want to do his words, man. He led us through the sea. And in the beginning, I gave you a large safe passage. I gave you Moses for a leader. He gave us Moses for a leader. All right. And Aaron for a priest. He gave us Aaron for a priest. All right. I gave you light and a pillar of fire and great wonders have I done among you. Yet have you forgotten me? Had said the Lord, have you forgotten Yahweh? Have you forgotten the most part, most powerful anything that's in this earth, man, or anything that's out of this earth, of anything that's ever existed? Have you forgotten Yahweh? You have forgotten him, man. All right. Yet yeah, have you forgotten me? Saith the Lord. All right. Thus said the Almighty Lord, the quails were as a token for you. I gave you tents for your safeguard. Nevertheless, you murmured there and triumph not in my name for the destruction of your enemies. But ever to this day do ye yet murmur. Y'all always murmuring behind the Lord, man. Well, maybe why Jesus do, maybe why Jesus is, they, they, maybe God does love everybody. God loves everybody, man. Just don't listen to nothing he's saying. Y'all murmur, man. All right. Since the beginning of the time, my people have been hard-headed and didn't want to listen to God. All right. Where are you are the benefits that I have done for you? When you were hungry and thirsty in the wilderness, did you not cry unto me? When we were hungry and thirsty in the wilderness, leaving Egypt and going into Africa, did we not cry unto the Lord for food? We cried unto the Lord. We couldn't, they couldn't have no food. They call us Africans, but we went, we fled into Africa after uh, we, we were left Egypt. All right. Where are the benefits that I have done for you? Where you were not hungry and thirsty in the wilderness, did you not cry unto me, saying, Why hast thou brought us into the wilderness to kill us? It had been better for us to have served the Egyptians than to die in the wilderness. That's what they were saying. It would be better us to serve the Egyptians than die in the wilderness. Then what did the Most High do for us? What did the Most High Yahweh do for us? All right. Then ha had I pity upon your mornings and gave you manna to eat. Okay, he gave us manna to eat, man. So you did eat angels' bread. We ate bread from angels, man. And they still don't want to listen to the Most High, man. We still don't want to, man. When you were thirsty, did I not cleave the rock and waters flowed out to your field? Waters came out of rocks for us, man. While we was in the wilderness, man. But somehow all our people forgot about the Most High, the Most High God. All right. Y'all want to go to Islam for this? Y'all want to go to uh, Christianity to serve a white god? I mean, uh, some white god or whatever you call him? White Yahweh white, uh, white Shabbos doesn't exist when he's black, blacker than me? Revelations 1 and 12, you can see that? Down? This is crazy, man. All right? Water is flowing out to your field. For I heat, I covered you with the leaves of the trees. For heat, y'all was cold, man. Everybody was cold. He covered us with the leaves of the trees, man. All right? I mean, uh, not cold. Everybody was hot. My bad, Salakia. Everybody was hot. And he covered us with the leaves of the trees, man. You leave us out in Africa, and he covered us with the leaves of the trees. For the heat, I covered you with leaves of the trees, man. And we still didn't listen. I, did, I divided amongst you a fruitful land. I casted out the, the Canaanites, the Pharisees, and the Philistines before you. What shall I yet do more for you, said the Lord? What else is he going to do? He's fed up, man. He's pulling his hairs up. What else is he going to do for you, man? What else do you want him to do for you, Israel? Y'all got to figure out and come back to the Most High and know that the and Christianity is going to lead you to destruction. Islam is going to lead you to destruction, all right? You serve other gods that neither nor thy fathers have known. All right? I just, man, I hope that y'all get right, man. I hope that y'all really come into this truth, man. Uh, Go down to 29. All right? That ye would be my people, and I should be your God. That ye would be my children, and I should be your father. All right? 
It's what he wants to happen, man. Okay? You got to come back to the most high, come out of that sin, start keeping these laws, man, and, and come back to the one and only God, man. Because all those other things are going to lead you to into death, man. You can't just do whatever you want and ask for forgiveness from the most high, man. You got to keep these laws and you got to uh, have faith and you got to do the works, man. You got to be out here teaching your brothers the truth. But people don't know that. They think it's, uh, the kingdom is just a, a, a little walk. God, Lord willing, not get into the kingdom. I'm doing the, I'm, I'm doing work right now, but it might not be enough. I'm trying as hard as I can to get to the kingdom. Persistently, man. You got to. Because if you don't do it persistently, man, you can't get caught. Out in the world during the end of the time, man. You can't be, you can't be, uh, um, going in and out of the truth, man. You can't be, uh, going from day to day. I'm gonna show you that too, for, and we're gonna leave out. All right. We'll go, uh. Ecclesiasticus 5 and 7. Uh, sorry, 5 and 7. All right? The Lord says, man, y'all got to, you got to stop, you got to stop putting the, the Lord off, man, every day to go sin, to go to work, to go do the things that you got to do, man. You can't put the Lord off, man. You're supposed to stay in this truth, man. All right? Uh, sorry, 5 and 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Don't keep tarrying, man. Don't keep Putting it off, man. Oh, man, not today, man. I'm not going to read the Bible today. I just read one one uh, verse today. We ain't gonna, I ain't going to read no chapter. I ain't going to watch no videos today. I'm just going to take off uh, off day today. What does the Most High say about that, all right? Make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly, suddenly, man, when everybody's out at work, when you out in the world, you at clubbing, and all that, man, this is what's going to happen. Shall the wrath of the Lord come forth? And then thy security shall not be destroyed. You secure right now. You got money. You got a house. You got, oh, you saying, you thinking the Lord bless you. The Lord doesn't even work with money, man. You thinking the Lord don't bless you. All right. But in thy security shall not be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. You're going to perish, man. You're going to perish in the day of the vengeance. The day of vengeance. That's said the Lord. All right. Stop putting off the Lord, man. Because he didn't put off you. He didn't put off you when you was in a uh when we was um going into Africa. He didn't put off us when he made the water come out the rocks. He didn't put off on us when he gave us angels bread. He didn't put off us when he destroyed these major kingdoms for us. All right. So why are you putting off him, man? All right, man. This is the end of the video, man. All praise to Yahweh by Shimamashiach Gomalaki Yahweh Shah, man. Kwam Yasharala. All right.